Now, your Storm Tracker team forecast with meteorologist Ashley Renee. Right, and good evening, everyone. Welcome back. Now let's go ahead and get into your forecast. So we are still talking about higher temperatures, higher, higher dew points, which is helping it to be more humid. And of course, not only was today very hot and humid, we're still seeing that going into next week. It's currently still in the low 90s. It's after 9 o'clock. We're still in the low 90s, and it still feels like 106. So again, very hot and humid evening for us for tonight. We'll still be feeling this as we go to our Sunday and the next few days. Our temperatures 91 in New Roads, 93 in Baton Rouge, 86 in Thibodeau, and 89 in Hammond. But looking at the heat index values, it feels like 99 in New Roads, 104 in Gonzales, and 100 in Thibodeau. Now, to overnight lows will be near 80, mostly clear sky, light breeze. And then for tomorrow, highs will still be in the lower 100s. But again, with those heat index values, it'll be feeling more so around 110. But we're still looking at mostly dry conditions conditions to continue for our Sunday and the feels like temperatures will still be around 110 for Gonzalez as I just mentioned 111 for Bogalusa and also 110 for Thibodeau. Now we had an excessive heat warning in effect for today and we have a heat advisory in effect for our area for tomorrow. Now we do still see an excessive heat warning for just a little bit further out west over Abbeville, Lafayette and Appaloosas but for us right here in the Baton Rouge area heat advisory in effect through at least 8 p.m. for our Sunday. Now, still have a few passing clouds as we go into Sunday afternoon, could possibly see an isolated shower just along the coast south of Morgan City. But overall, going into the rest of our Sunday, still looking at mostly dry conditions. But we do have a slightly better chance for some isolated shower activity on our Monday afternoon going into the evening before looking at drier and clearer conditions going overnight into Tuesday. Now, this is due to a tropical wave that's expected to move through the Gulf in the coming days. Now, we're looking at about 20% chance for development over the next two days, but the, in, the chance up for development increases as we go out through the next five to seven days. Now, again, rain chances aren't too high for us, but as this tropical wave moves through the Gulf, helps increase our moisture for our area, could possibly have some isolated shower activity just for Baton Rouge and just further south along the coast, but towns along the coast have a better chance of seeing some rain over the next couple of days on Monday and possibly for Tuesday as well. But again, main story that you need to know, heat index values will be remaining high. We'll still see them close to 110 and by Thursday, 120. Yeah, that's what we're looking at. So again, next few days, we've been telling you all summer long, drink plenty of water, try to spend as much time indoors as you can. And also just still seeing that for your seven day again. So highs will be near the lower 100s and overnight lows will be near 80. But again, those heat index values still be will be remaining dangerous in the coming days. So just new day, same story as you. We sound like a broken record at this point, but do what you can to protect yourself and your loved ones, pets included, from suffering from heat stress. And we'll have more after this break.